Hello once again my friends, it's your buddy Nekumor here, and welcome to the first episode of Collection Chronicle. This is like the fifth or sixth attempt at making a video to get things started, so I don't know if this is going to make it to air, but hey, either way, let's take it away. So I had a couple of ideas of how I wanted to start the series. I originally was like, let's talk about the games I already have in my collection and who donated them, or where I got them from. And then that just ended up becoming a whole, like, look at the size of my collection peen video. And then I was kind of bored watching it. And if I'm bored watching it, how could I expect you to like it, right? The next thing I started to do is I, the next attempt was like me explaining, hey, why did I start collecting? Let me tell you my story. And I'm just like, that's again, that's, that just seems so very inward. I wanted that view outward. And then I decided, Let's talk about getting started collecting, because maybe there's someone out there who wants to start their video game collection and don't know where to start. Now I know that seems like kind of a, well, a video game collection, just start collecting games. I know it seems like a no-brainer, but I think I have some thoughts that I'd like to share that might make the act of collecting video games maybe a little more fun. Maybe not, but let's talk about it. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can start a game collection. The first, and what's seemingly the no-brainer, is just start buying games. Just hoard games. Get as many games as you can. Make piles in your basement, right? Just put a pile there. Bring your friends to the basement and be like, Dude, check out my video game collection pile. And they'll be like, yeah. Cool. Okay, maybe a little overly dramatic, but or under dramatic, maybe. But that's a perfectly legitimate way to start collecting. Just buy games. Duh. I mean, it kind of looks like what I'm doing, just buying games for no rhyme or reason. Or, <laughs> or you can find yourself at the beginning with a plan. You know, think about where you want to start collecting. And the big thing that I'd like to get out of the way is quality over quantity. Again, it looks like I don't have any room to talk, but a lot of these games were actually donated to me. I bought maybe about half of them and the rest of them were given to me from friends and family. Where do you begin? Well, the simple first step to that is, what's your favorite console? Do you like NES? Are you fond of the Super Nintendo? Do you like PlayStation 2? Figuring out what your favorite console is and you know what console you're likely to play the most is a very good starting point in what games should you be buying first. So let's use the NES for example. Okay, you've selected a console that you want to collect for. Now what do you buy? Chances are, if you have a favorite console, you already have some games for it. But, maybe there's other games that you don't have. Maybe you have a list of games that you want for the console. Well, there you go, that's perfect. Make a list. Pick off some games you want. Oh, I want Dragon Warrior, I want Mega Man 2, I want Dr. Mario. You know, start a list, start buying from that list. Another thing that you can do is you can find like a master list for the console, go on YouTube, maybe find some gameplay videos and go, huh, that looks interesting, that looks like it would be kind of fun. Let's get it. And there you go, you've got the basis of a good collection. From there you can move on to other consoles and just start to build, you know? It's good to have goals. That's kind of the big overarching memo here is have a goal, work towards that goal. And again, quality over quantity. Just because you find a game that's 50 cents at your local game store that you may never play, maybe you don't need it. Or maybe you do. Again, I'm not telling you how to collect, I'm telling you how to start collecting. You don't need to just collect for a console, maybe. Uh, let's say you like Legend of Zelda. Who doesn't? Great game series. Maybe you want to start collecting games from the Zelda franchise. Uh, you know, you'll see pictures on, like, let's say the R uh, game collecting subreddit, which I'll link in the description, uh, where people have just shelves of games and paraphernalia from Zelda, or Super Mario, or <sighs> Dragon Quest, Some, you know, something. You don't necessarily need to collect towards a console, you can collect towards a series you really like. Again, I know it seems like a no-brainer thing, but not a lot of people go into it thinking, I need goals. And of course, let me just say real quick, your goal doesn't need to be the end game. Like for a while there, my end game, like when I was living in the apartment, my end game was to have a room that I could just nerd out. I mean, I've got a whole wall filled with Amiibo now <laughs> in the basement of my game room, of my house. That was my goal for the longest time. And now I'm at a point where I'm just like, well, what's my next goal? I'm still trying to figure that out. Start with small goals. Think like, okay, I want to get a, a good 20 game collection for this console and then maybe I'll work on something else. You know, you don't, 
you don't have to focus on the end game immediately. Make a goal, work towards that goal, and think about what your next goal might be. That way game collecting never feels boring or just like a money sink. Now of course, all of that said, make sure you're buying games that you're probably going to play, right? At least once or twice. There's kind of a, a, a negative persona, I guess, that's talked about frequently on collecting boards. Uh, the shelf collector, where people just buy games and leave them to sit on their shelf. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I've played every single game in the library, but I try to, right? Some days I'll just, I don't know, what are we going to play today? And it's going to be uh, caveman games. You know, I try to play games that I can when I have the time to. Um, and I'm not saying that necessarily being a shelf collector is a bad thing, but you get kind of funny looks if you tell people that you just buy games and leave them there. You know what I mean? Um, so if, if you're going to go out of your way to, I guess, spend money and sink money into a, a, a hobby like this, try to play, try to get games that you'll play, you know, at least once every once in a while. Um, that way you're not just buying trophy pieces, I guess. If that, does that make sense? Um, and it feels like you're uh, spending your money wisely. But again, I'm not here to tell you how to collect. I'm telling you, giving you ideas how to start and kind of things to think about. The other type of person you're going to find are the negative Nancy emulation nerds. You know, the people, the people that are like, why are you collecting physical copies? I have the entire NES library on my smartphone. And you're just kind of like... Uh, it's, because owning the physical cartridge feels better in the long run, and you're gonna run into people like that. I'm sorry. I am sorry. It, no, you're never gonna change these people's minds. You'll just be like, because I like owning the physical copy, and they're just kind of like, what can hear you do? Doop doop. Now, look, I'm not saying they're bad people, but they're gonna, eh, they're gonna bring it up every time. You try to talk to them about game collecting. I had a roommate in college that was like that. I love him to pieces. But, uh, and he understood why I collected. I was very, very fortunate to have him as a friend who understood why I'm spending money on the physical as opposed to his digital. Um, but we had the conversation several times. And if you're watching this, dude, you know I love you. It's been a long time since we've talked, I know. But... <laughs> Couldn't help but bring you up as an example, but no, seriously, don't let the don't let the emulation crowd bring you down. Um, it's an expensive hobby. Like I don't know if I said yet, but this one NES game is a couple hundred dollars loose. <laughs> uh, Zombie Nation. It's a lot of fun. It's but yeah, build your collection around what you like. Make it something that's yours. The other thing about game collections, the other kind of misconception is that you'll you'll get people that are like, well. You can't collect modern games. That's not really what game collecting is about. Now, I know there are few and far between people that are like that, but if you want to collect PS4, Xbox One, Switch, Wii U, Wii, whatever, that's, dude, that's yours. That's your, that's your collection. Go for it, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> My point is, is don't let other people tell you that your collection's bad just because they don't understand. And I, I know I had one other point that I wanted to bring up, but the very last thing I want to touch on is support your local mom and pop shops. We have we have Micro Game around here. We have uh, Johnny Lake Games. Uh, I'm sure other game stores that I'm like blanking on right now. But like, I try my best to not go to GameStop. I have personal reasons for that. Um, that's a whole that's a whole other can of worms though. Um, but like, support local. Because your local guys are going to have, have more knowledge about the retro style of things than they are someone at GameStop is. Or any other big chain game store. Uh, EB Games, is that still a thing? Now this video's gone on for a little while, so let me just quickly recap. Make goals for yourselves. Quality over quantity. Uh, who Don't let people tell you how to collect or that your collection's bad worth anything. Uh, support local. And have fun with it. You don't need to sink your life savings into collecting games. Bring it out over time. You know, collect over time. Play the games that you're getting. And you know what? People can say what they want, but collecting video games is a lot of fun. I would I would argue even more so than collecting movies or CDs. It's just another type of media, right? Multimedia that people enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. 
Um, I have a couple of ideas for future videos in this particular series. Um, originally it was gonna be like, look at the games I got this month, and look who donated what. But I think that we can find much better topics to talk about as far as game collecting goes. But we could even throw a few of those videos in there, I don't know. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys start collecting video games. Uh, and if you already collect, go ahead and tell me in the comments section below uh, some of your prized possessions, I suppose, uh, games you like to collect and all that. Uh, if you have any questions about game collecting, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Um, the link to the game collecting subreddit will also be down below. Um, and I'm making a Discord server. I'll put the link to that down below as well once I actually get that up and running. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. Don't do anything I, I wouldn't do. And I will catch you in the next one.